Hello, and welcome to Pipeline CRM. My name is Cooper, and I will be assisting you in your exploration of our CRM system today. First things first, this is the home dashboard, the number one thing you'll see when you log in. One thing to note about our system is that while it is very simple to use, easy to implement, it is very customizable, so something to keep in mind while you're exploring our system. At the top here, you have what is noted as the global navigation bar and subsequent tabs. Companies, deals, people, all are, are all three functionally the exact same. They are list views that are modeled after Excel. However, deals is the revenue producing component and the only thing that is associated with the pipeline that you see below. Companies and people are static, not associated with the pipeline. However, when you create a deal, that must always be under a person and then a company where applicable. And that would just be whether you're going B2B versus B2C, for example. The pipeline that you see below, as I mentioned, is entirely customizable. So whatever your sales process looks like, whether that's five, 10, 15 plus stages, you can change that to be reflected here. As you go over to the right side here, you might see the sales pipeline with the drop down carrot. That is how you might toggle between our multiple pipelines, which is a key feature of our system. This would be used for anything that has its own unique sales process. Whether that is something like you see here today, a sales, renewal, project management, or order pipeline. There are people that have B2B versus B2C, residential versus commercial, products versus services, buying versus selling, etc. Each one has its own set of stages and data sets, and it can be customized to fit your own specific preferences. Below that, you have your agenda, which is just your task list or to-do list. So you'll see anything that is past due, due today, and upcoming. Tasks are going to be date stamped in the system, just a generic, hey, get this done sometime today, as opposed to events which are time sensitive and will populate on your calendar. Under latest CMO interactions here, there will be a big blue ribbon that will prompt you to sync your email. All you have to do is enter your credentials, accept the permission, and then your email will be synced from that point on moving forward. We have a complete bi-directional sync with both G Suite and Outlook Exchange. In addition to the tiles that you can see here, you can drag drop change the order of things, remove things that might not be relevant to you, or add more tiles here that might be of relevance to yourself or your organization. You can even create multiple dashboards depending on the user or role in the system. So you might like a traditional da sales dashboard like you see here versus an administrator dashboard where you have everything that is forecasted to close, has closed in the previous month, etc. If we go into the Companies, Deals, People tabs, as I mentioned, all three functionally the exact same, you'll see a list view that is modeled after Excel. The column headers that you see here are entirely customizable and can be changed to fit your exact preferences. You'll be able to edit them on a whim by going to the Add and Move columns here and toggling between pre-existing system fields and custom fields that you might have created. Anytime you make a change to this list view, whether it's adding a new column, adding a filter, or drag and drop change the order of things, you can save that list to reference at a later time, which is a great way to make marketing your campaign list within the system. If you select the upper left-hand side of any list that you've created within the deal, people, or agenda tabs, you have the option to make a number of bulk edits. You can also send a bulk email, which is essentially a one-off email blast to all the recipients in that list. All you have to do is give it a title, and then you can either insert a template or type an email out by hand, send now, or schedule that for a later time. Alternatively, you can press send campaign and roll that list of people into a series of emails, which if you go to the emails section there, go to bulk emails or email campaigns, click on the email campaign name or add a new campaign. You can give it a title, starting to end dates optional, and then you can add the entry and the exit criteria for that email. Any of these items being updated, created, or deleted, and having any number of layer of conditions, will send this email or this series of emails. If we go back to the deals list view here and go into a specific deal, you're going to see the orientation, uh, which is virtually the same for companies and people as well. You'll have the deal details, the primary contact information, the agenda and activity feed. You use these two areas in tandem with one another. The plus sign over under the agenda, it gives you the option to create a new task or an event. As I mentioned on the home dashboard, those are going to be the same thing, except for an event will be time sensitive, populate on your calendar, as opposed to a task, which is just a generic, hey, get this done sometime today. 
For both of them, you can choose the type for reporting metrics, which are all customizable as well, assign it to another user in the system if needed, and a priority if needed. You do also have the ability to create task and event templates in the account settings section, which you can either have manually applied or apply them based on automation that you can create in the account settings section. The activity feed here is broken out into three different components. You have system updates, which is anytime an agenda item is completed, or there's a change to the deal details up above. All of your email interactions with this correspondent will be housed in the middle section here. So that will be everything sent and received, whether it's done through pipeline or your Outlook or Gmail. Any email with an attachment will automatically get pulled and stored into the files section here. We have unlimited file storage on all three tiers. The last area of the activity feed is the actual activities notes section, and that's where you can go in, create one-click activities based on the activity category type for things that occur frequently. You can tag other users in the system with the at symbol up above or by mentioning their name down below to start a thread and have a dialogue. So you have your call notes, meeting dispositions, colleague communications over here, all of your email interactions with the recipient in the middle section, and then your action items to do items over here, which will all populate on the home page whenever those action items are due. Below that, you might see a custom field section, which can be customized based on whatever preferences you're trying to track within the system. You can do things such as a date, numeric, currency field, a drop down menu where you select one option from a list or have a yes no scenario, a pick list with multiple options or values. You can put in young formulas and functions in here, have text fields, Boolean fields, you name it. Anything that you create a custom field on, you can get reporting metrics of here. And you can also toggle those custom fields in as column headers to filter through those characteristics. If we look at the people and the companies tabs, you see a virtually uh, similar format here, modeled after Excel. Everything here is still inline editable, as is deals. When you're looking at a person, you'll see all of their tags and associations, and then you'll see all of the deals associated to this individual. You'll see everything previously won, lost, and in progress. If we go to a company, it's a similar concept. You'll see all the deals associated with this person, company, everything won, lost, and in progress, and then you'll also have a hierarchy of all the people in the organization. The agenda tab that you see here is just an expanded list view of what you saw on the home page, except for this area does have a lot of benefits for salespeople. The number one feature about this is that you can filter by a specific due date, type of activity that is due, and collect, can select things that are the same task, send out a bulk email, and complete similar action items in bulk. We have a basic calendar sync with both outs with both Outlook and Gmail. Anything that you put onto either one of those calendars will populate here and vice versa. You can filter by specific event types, users or teams, and save those calendars for future reference. Under the emails section here, you'll have a general email inbox where you can add new contacts directly or ignore that sender so you don't receive emails from them and pipeline CRM any longer. Under bulk emails, you can track all the one-off bulk emails that you have sent See the open, open rate, click and click rate. Establish what subject matter is getting the most responses and engagement. We already went over email campaigns. If you go to templates, that's where you can create templates for both yourself and other team members to use based on whether it's personal or shared. Title is what you will see. Subject is what the recipient will see. Building content here is similar to Gmail or Outlook. You can put in links, images, JPEGs, Put in merge tags so it addresses everyone in that list by their first name or another characteristic. And if you want a really nice well formatted newsletter, we do support HTML. Under the reports section, there are seven pre-created reports based on the most primary utilized things in the system. Each one of these reports can be modified to reflect a specific list that you might want to report on or a deal segment within the system. You can also change the y-axis or the x-axis based on any pre-existing system fields or custom fields that you might have created and are tracking within the system. Any of these reports that you create, you can add to the home dashboard to view at a glance when you first log in. You have goals here, both individual team and company goals. You simply select what the goal is, fill out the criteria, and then you'll get periodic updates as to where you are in terms of attainment. If you do not like any of those six pre-created goals, you can use performance polls to create your own. The last area here is a file section. That is just a generic file that is 
uh, for anything that is not directly associated with a company deal or person and may not necessarily belong to an email template. And that's basically pipeline from a simple high level overview. I hope this was able to assist you in your exploration of our CRM system. If you still have any questions remaining, please don't hesitate to reach out to our sales team. We would be happy to discuss things further and make sure that we do fit all of your needs. Thanks so much.